Hey YouTube ladies, Angie B here, coming to you today with a haul. So, I got some things from Michaels today that I needed basically. Or, well actually, hmm, no, I scoured their clearance section. Oh my goodness guys, I found a steal on acetate. Let me show you that. And then I have Amazon and I'm very excited for this one because I was waiting on this one to come in and that's why I'm doing the video now. So, but, I'm going to replace that bowl. Show you guys what I got from Michaels. Okay, so, I needed some more ocean-themed charms. They were, um, 50% off, Charmology. So, I bought these, so they were like two fifty. dollars they were originally $4.99. So I have some gold and silver anchors. I need really need some gold charms. Um, and then I grabbed another one of these. I have already purchased one of these, I think. No, I have not. One similar. But then I grabbed these. Um, I was going to order these on Amazon. And I think I accidentally kicked it off my list. But I'm going to order them from Amazon anyway because... There's one that has nothing but um, ocean, like seashells and stuff. These are metal charms for resin that I needed. Basically, I wanted the seashells and the starfish. But it comes with other things in here, too. And these actually, well, I think these are actually, like, made for resin. But I get wheels like this of nail art. So, I use nail art shells in my resin. So I picked up a pack of those. They weren't that expensive. Um, I think maybe five bucks. Because I accidentally didn't order it on Amazon. Okay. These were on clearance for a buck. So I picked up. There was only a couple that were on clearance. But I walked down a lot of their aisles. And things were just marked down in the aisles. So like a lot of these foamy things were on clearance. Um, I picked up just this one because I thought it was so cute. Um, think about maybe making some shakers or something with these. But you get the little starfish, the little dolphins, and then you get this wave-like pattern already cut out. So I thought that was cute. The summer, spring and summer coming up. This cotton bandana was only a dollar. Um... If you use your Cricut and you iron on things, the bags and things a lot, they had quite a few bags um, on clearance too, by this, made by the same company. Their little bags, uh, tote bags and stuff were on clearance. I didn't pick up any of those though because I've made some and I still have some left over. But I picked up this bandana of music note like stuff because um, I might just actually use it for a journal. And then I picked up this for a specific purpose, all because it had like Paris things in it. But I thought the stickers were really cute. It was uh, like five bucks, so I paid regular price for this. But all these other things I'm really not going to use, so I really only picked it up for these stickers, these stickers, and like, um, because I don't do planner stuff and like these stickers. That's really all I picked it up for. But because it was only five dollars, why not? Fuck it. Okay, and then this was on clearance. I really liked it. It's like a corduroy almost like here in the middle. For three bucks. They had a couple ribbons on sale. Now this blew my mind. This blew my mind. I originally bought this 12 pack of clear acetate. The original price was twelve ninety nine. Yeah, twelve ninety nine. Original price, believe. Um, they clearance these out at my Michaels for three bucks, and they had a stack of these at my Michaels for three bucks. This is a twelve pack of the clear acetate. I use these for sh <clears throat> for shakers. So I just picked up one pack. I should have picked up two, but I didn't want to because I still have. The other pack that I bought, um, I'm still working on that. I don't know how many sheets I have left, but I know I'm still working on it. So I picked up one more pack. Um, 
if I go back there within the next week or so, I might pick up another pack or two for th three bucks. They had a stack of them there. And the funny thing is the lady at the counter, she was like, yeah, I was marking them down and I just don't know what people do. What do you do? She asked me what I did with them. I'm like, oh, I make shakers with them. <laughs> but, you know, people use these for a multitude of things. So 12 pack clear acetate sheets, 12 by 12 for three bucks. This is at My Michaels in Maryland in Bel Air. So that was my Michaels haul. Now this is my exciting one. Oh, well, this one's basic. Got this off Amazon. Um, I needed gold hooks and um, rings. These hooks, I actually like these a lot better because they're bigger than the silver ones that I got. And they feel a lot heavier. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, that works. And this is what I'm actually gonna fiddle with tonight. So I got another resin kit on Amazon for 20 bucks. Um, I was reading the reviews on it. Some people were complaining about the size, but I don't know why. Cause these are the basic sizes of the molds, a lot of them. No, a lot of people were complaining about the fact that the glitter was everywhere inside on the molds. Mm. Okay, that happens. Glitter gets out of little tins. It happens. But, um, it's not like it can't be cleaned off. It can be cleaned off. But this kit is amazing with everything that you get for 20 bucks. I don't know what this is. This was my main reason I bought it. Oh, it's like this plastic little... Now, see, this might pick up all the glitter that is sit here that is stuck to this mold. If not, I'm going to take a baby wipe to it and clean it off. So I got the better resin molds. I am playing with this tonight. Um, yeah. I don't see a problem with it besides the fact that, like, okay, yeah, there's some glitter over here. But, like, it happens. I'm not mad about that. I'll clean it off. It's not a problem. But yeah, I'm going to have fun with this. This is what I really wanted to um, get with this kit. But you get a plethora of stuff with this kit. So let's go through it. Let's go through it. I got to clean that mold off before I get work. Okay. So look, they even give you some gloves. And this was another reason I was excited. I got the silicone cup. So this is like the easy clean. Um just let the resin set and it'll just all harden up and you can pluck it out so this is where i'm going to put like you know the main when i mix it all together i was excited about this i got more of the um like sep little cups you can pour your little things in i'm going to be putting those to use um some jump rings the uh key rings and the chain um these chain look pretty nice these chains are nice and thick so i'll probably keep those on there um the ones i got in the previous kit weren't very thick of a metal so i replaced them with my chain that was thicker but these look pretty sturdy so i'll be able to use those now this is where the glitter comes from and look honestly i don't even know how the glitter got out of that because it's really not even in the box so, I don't know. Puzzle me. So, they even give you a plethora of glitters you can use. I have a ton of glitters because I do did nail glitter mixes and stuff. So, I still have tons of glitters. But, you know, these will be cool. I would have rather this been, instead of a chunky and a fine, maybe a pigment and then a glitter. That would have been better for the kit. Give them a plethora of pigments to use to color the resin and then give yourself a glitter. But that's fine, I don't care, whatever. I have pigments, you can use acrylic paint to put in it to color your, you can, there's a plethora, you can even use nail polish to color your resin, if you guys don't know that. It might be a little opaque, so you may have to add like a couple drops, 
but you can even put nail polish into your resin to color it. So, and then we got all the thickness. So they gave me like the little spoons and these little stirrers, which is awesome because I'm not liking using my popsicle sticks. I feel like it's giving me a lot of air bubbles. Gives you the droppers, which I'm not a fan of them because I feel like they, they take too long to pick your resin out of it. But I mean, I'll play around with them. So, got a bunch of these. So this is awesome. Let me use these tonight. Yep. Here's some more. Now, I hope this little nail drill screwy thing works better than the other one that I got. Because the other one that I got was not doing anything. I could not get the drill pit to stay in here. For the life of me, it wouldn't stay. It was just going back in. So I gotta figure these out. And of course, the little hooks, gold and silver. Put these out there. So. I mean, you get, I got all this for 20 bucks. Then you get the little cylinder ones that you can make like, you know, things that look like crystals. You get those. You get the little bracelet thing. I don't see how people wear this as a bracelet. Maybe for kids. And then you can make your own little um, flat back gems. So you, they give you this mold. That's why, okay. Um, saw a review. Somebody said, but I, this is so tiny. What do you do with this? This is for if you want to make your own little flat back embellishments. That's what this is for. You can make your own little crystals. They're shaped like crystals. That's what they're for. And then you can make a charm out of them. Like, I don't know. Some people are just, I don't understand why it's so small. That's why it's so small. And then, this is good. Awesome, actually, because there's a scratch in one of my molds, and it's leaving an imprint. It's not an imprint that's really noticeable, but... I didn't like for some reason there was a scratch and sun. So I got another one of these, which I already have one. And I've been pouring a lot of these keychains. And then I got another one of these, which I already have one, which is I don't I have multiples. You know what I'm saying? So that's fine with me, because then I can pour more at one time. I can double my batch. So those are the flat molds that you get. Okay. So I mean you got you get all of this for 20 bucks. I am not complaining. I'm going to leave this out. <laughs> I might even leave these out because I'm going to pour um, some of the, uh, the letters tonight. Um, the, with the last of my resin, I, had, that's a, I have to buy more resin. I'm all out of resin right now. Well, not all out. I will be. The last little bit of resin I had wanted to save to pour one of these letters. So, it's another reason I was waiting for the molds to come in. So, yeah. I am excited to do this. And actually, what I might do is do a video of me pouring this mold. That way, we can um do it together. So with that being said, ladies, I have got to get some stuff out of my way, get my table set up so I can get this done, and um, come back and look out for the resin pour video. All right? Bye. Let's review this product. Be safe. Be blessed. Come back and watch me in a little bit.